welcome to my channel basics with meeta as you can see that on the screen my channel name is mentioned here and you can see the entire videos of mine that uh, in which i am making the videos on concrete stuffs here you can see that bulk email how you can do using outlook id and uh, using icloud id so today's video i'm going to cover that how you can do the unlimited or bulk mail using your gmail id by configuring it into the outlook so here in this video i'm going to cover this topic and already i have made the video on this topic but uh, i got multiple comment that that time voice was a bit low so uh, my subscriber they wanted me to make the video again so on their request i'm making this video again for you so just uh, have a look that how we can configure our gmail id and only a request if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do subscribe it now and if you're watching this on instagram don't forget to follow me and share it as much as possible for supporting me in growing my channel so uh, let's see that how we can do for that uh, i'm going to open up the outlook here so here I'm using uh, 7 as of now, but uh, it is applicable for any uh, Microsoft Office. You can use it. So here I'm going to show you the entire process that how you can do it. And uh, from the uh, initial stage, I'll inform you that how you can do the configuration of it. So for that, what you have to do, you have to open up your uh, Gmail ID, as you can see here. And uh, you have to do the changes. Like this is uh, the Gmail ID, and I'm going to open up the Google account of this Gmail ID. And here, as you can see that I am getting the option of security here. So I will click on security. This is our first step that you must have to do if you want to send the bulk email using Outlook. So this is one of the crucial step that you have to follow. So two settings I'm going to inform you. First one is this, you have to click on security. And here, as you can see that, uh, less secure app access you have to turn it on so you have to allow the access by turning it on and you can see that as it is updated now i'll uh, click on back so you can see that here it's on now so this email id i'll configure in outlook and using this email id i will send the bulk email so you have to do the setting in the email ID that you want to configure in Outlook for bulk emailing. Now we have done this uh, step and I'll again go to the Gmail ID of it. I'll go to the Gmail of it. So first setting I have done, now the second setting we have to do before configuring it into the Outlook. Sometimes people face issue just because they forget to do this uh, these steps. That is why they uh, won't able to configure it well in Outlook. So I'll click on setting option here. So you have to go to the see all setting. Now you can see that I'm getting the option of forwarding and pop IMAP. So I'll have to click here. Now you can see that here I'm getting the option of enable pop and uh, here you can see that imap is disabled so i have to enable this so two things you have to do you have to enable pop uh, for all mail and here in imap access you have to enable the imap only two things you have to enable it here now 
you will go down and you will have to do the changes you have to save the this changes so this is the two setting that you must have to do before configuring uh, that we have done now i'm going to the outlook so that i would be able to configure my this email id and one more thing you have to keep uh, the list of the uh, email ids so that you can use while doing the bulk email that i will tell you later so now we are going to open the outlook here to configure the email id in which we have done the setting here so we have to go to the tool here so that we will be getting the option of account setting here and i'm going to show you here again you will be getting the option of new here as you can see on the screen so let me repeat it again when you open up the outlook you will be getting the option of tool or the microsoft office you are using from where you will be getting the account setting you have to select that so here i'm getting the option in tool i'll click on account setting now i'll get the option of new here i'll click on new to configure the email id and here i am getting the option of manually configure server setting i'll click on it then i'll click on next and then here i am getting the option of internet email i'll click on next and these are the details we have to fill here you have to mention the name and you have to mention your email id in which just we have done the setting so our this email id will get configured here as you can see the option of pop here so we have to keep it same and here we have to write pop.gmail.com and in outgoing mail server we have to type smtp.gmail.com we are getting the option incoming mail server you have to type pop.gmail.com outgoing mail server smtp.gmail.com and here you have to write again your gmail id and mention your password so as you can see that i have filled my all the details here and now we have to select the more setting option here i'm getting the option of outgoing server so i i'll click on outgoing server and i'll tick this box now i'll i'm getting the option of advance so i'll click on by default setting so here i'm getting this box i have to tick this box and by default 995 value will select so we have to keep it same now i'll change the value of uh, outgoing server is 465 and use the following type of encrypted connection i'll click on ssl so we have to write this outgoing server 465 and the use following type of encrypted connection we have to select ssl and the incoming server pop 3 we have to uh, write this value so it, it will automatically select it if you take this box so we will be getting 995 and we will have to click okay so this setting we have done and now we have to test if our setting is done well and it is completed or it is successfully done or not so for that we will go on test account setting so if it gets complete it means we would be easily able to configure and it will be successfully configured if we get this both value completed so now you can see that it's successfully uh, done and you can see the completed option we are getting so we 
now uh, we will easily able to use this email id for the bulk emailing we will close this and we'll go to next option and click on finish so here you can see that now may my mail id is configured here and using this mail id i'll show you that how we can do the bulk email so for that we should have the we should have to keep the email list with us in excel sheet and in word the content if you're doing the email marketing affiliate marketing whatever content you want uh, or you want to send or you want to do the bulk mail of that content so for that you have to keep the content in word so here as you can see that hello uh, i have mentioned and uh, this mail will be sent to everyone every recipient of mine the same email will going to be sent by this method in word if you want me to uh, you know show you that how you can mention the particular name of the person as per the recipient so for that if you want i'll make the video on it as well so if you want that video if you want to send the mail with their specific name mentioned on the mail so for that i'll show you that how uh, what the setting you can do from the uh, this word so that you will be getting the specific name with this recipient mail id and it will be automatically sent selected and sent to that recipient so here the same content is going to be sent by this uh, method because i'm not uh, going to change the setting here and if you want you can comment me i'll be making the video on it so now we are going to see that how we can do the bulk email so for that as you can see that already my uh, in account setting my this uh, mail id is configured So what I'm going to do here, as you can see that I'll click on mailing option and then I'll go to start mail merge option. I'll click on step by step mail merge and uh, here I'll click on next. And I'm getting the option of browse. So where you have kept your mail list, you will have to select that Excel sheet. So I have kept in my sheet third. I'll click on OK. So here is the my mail list. I'll click on OK. And now I'll click on Next, then again on Next, then Complete Mail, mail, mail Merge. And I'll click on Electronic Mail. Here I'll click on this. And subject line, whatever you want, you can do the changes. as per your affiliate mark, uh, marketing services or as per your product you can uh, se uh, select the subject line so here i have mentioned the subject please don't mind the background sound so here i have mentioned the uh, in, uh, subject line so you can mention as per your niche or you're doing the affiliate marketing whatever the product you are having the subject line you generally mention you can select that one i'll click on from here i'll tick this box and from uh, in your seat you have to select from which row to which row you want to send the mail so i'll have the mail list from second row and let uh, i'm going to select it 50 emails and if i'll click on ok my 50 emails will be directly sent just with this one click so now you can see that i'm going to check from my outlook and here as you can see that in the outbox the mail list is filling up and along with the filling it is also sending so number is increasing as well as decreasing as it is sending from the outlook so as you can see that just in one click uh, i have done and also i have made the video that using the icloud id and outlook id how you can do the bulk mail so in that i have informed the setting of icloud id and uh, the outlook id so doing the setting how you are going to configure it into the outlook and using 
the outlook id and icloud id you would be easily able to send the bulk email so for that i'll be giving you the link below the description in this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do subscribe it now and give thumbs up so here as you can see that uh, the mails are sending let me show you through my gmail id as well so here i'm going to show you in the sent option so now you can see that mails are sending here let me refresh it so as you can see that in the outlook mail list are sending here it's a decreasing so this is how by configuring the multiple mail ids or outlook id or i cloud id in outlook you can do the bulk mail on daily basis and this is completely free that you can use so see here that you can see that mails are sending as you can see that you can match the timings as well here it's a 1625 or 425 so see that mails are sending so this is one of the best way and now it's a three mails are left and you can see just in 15 to 20 second my all mail list have sent so this is how you can use and uh, here you can go to the tool option and in the account setting here when you click on new you uh, using this you will easily able to configure your multiple gmail ids or icloud ids and using that email id or out cloud id you can easily able to send the bulk email so this is how you can do the bulk email and if you're watching this video on instagram don't forget to follow me there and do share it as much as possible give me support and growing up my channel hope you like this video and this video is for the informational purpose so do not misuse it do subscribe and share till then take care see you again